pranam thank you friends for permitting me to speak on chakras now the very first thing is the existence of the self who am i am i this body am i this energy what is the basic uh, existence of me and that basic existence in the universe is in the form of energy because we all know that the whole universe which is ours i belong to this universe i am a part of this universe it's like a father daughter relation it's like mother daughter relation it's like the home which is the universe and i belong to this home but do i belong as body this body is a format you can say that has to balance the karmas has to take birth on earth but the real existence of us is only energy field and that energy field is universally accepted it is uh, you know throughout the universe it is established every a being has his energy field extended to the last boundary of the universe but we don't realize the powers of this energy field so there are different phases of energies one phase of which is the chakra around which our whole body is constituted the body is the last and minimized body of our whole energy field and the main existence of ours is the energy field and chakras now why this universe created chakras in us or why a body is around the chakras the chakras are the landing place of universal energies in our body system if your chakras are powerful your aura will automatically be powerful and very wide but if your chakras are not functioning well not properly energized then your aura field is shrink so it is very important to know the areas because it's not a body part it's like one pipe in which there are seven sections of different energies lambda so when a white light is divided into various energy fields there are main seven colors which we observe so in the same way it is vibgyor color and the crown that is the front part is here it is the violet and from here to the root it is vibgyo so first chakra is here the channel is running from here down to the uh, whole body the backbone you can say it is not a body part so it's a field running and from the top the universal energy enters but at the same time 
there are frequencies different frequencies that land up in our energy field and this is vibgyo because every color has its own frequency so the first is crown third eye is here throat heart and stomach just above the navel and just two fingers down the navel is the navel chakra or the hara chakra and at the last tip last point of your uh, this main backbone is the muladhara chakra means the root chakra now in sanskrit if we rise up from below from the tip of this uh, rib means backbone that is the part of muladhara the base that is the base chakra the root and just behind the navel is the swadhisthana chakra the sacral chakra and just above it is the solar plexus or manipura chakra and just above it is the heart chakra then throat chakra this is swadhisthana chakra a heart chakra is called uh, anahata chakra and throat chakra is called vishuddha chakra then third eye chakra is agya chakra and the crown chakra is called sahasra sahasra means sahasra means thousands of petals it is assumed so these are main seven chakras and they are the landing ports of energies from where the whole energy process begins in our body they are the soft switches you can say of glands ductless glands you can say how do they work they work with the principle of these energies which land directly from the universe and here lies the ductless glands which operates the body and the imbalance in these chakras you can call harmonic imbalance but the moment you start balancing the chakras the whole body is energized and it takes some time to balance the chakra because you don't know which of the chakra energy you lose most with your uh, thought process so friends i think it's clear so it is vibhyo color means the purple is at the top then the indigo dark blue color is on your forehead just uh, between the eyebrow and light blue is your throat chakra the green color is the heart the yellow you know lemon color that is your solar plexus and swadhisthana chakra is uh, orange color and red is the muladhara or the root chakra so these are the vibhyo colors you know nature has the same seven colors means the whole universe is radiating with these seven colors you see the rainbow you see uh, particles uh, floating in sunlight you see they radiate uh, seven colors uh, you can see um, uh, water you know mirage at a distance radiating seven colors so if you are not radiating properly with these seven colors you are having some problem because then synchronism is not there and then we start eating lot of 
tablets, medicines. So, how to fulfill is another part of learning. But these are the chakras. Now, what as a non-healer or as a layman, we can just intend to energize our chakras. How can we do that? So for those, for that thing, you have to understand the thought process which rests in that area and that particular chakra. So they are the goodness of the chakras, but at the same time, a thought process a situation, a mental um, field do affect our chakras. Now there are different types of emotions which we experience in life rest in different rooms of these chakras. You can call these seven rooms. You feel you are thinking from brain and some input from mind. But then where those thoughts go where they rest, in which room. So it is very important uh, to know. I will give you a few tips about it. See, I come on the Muladhara Chakra, the basic chakra, the root chakra. Now this is the seat of uh, your health, happiness. And basic necessities of your life should be fulfilled. If this chakra is running well, if it is energized, if it is radiating good energy, then you will not face any problem just leading your natural day-to-day -day life. Things will be attracted automatically. It is the seat of completing our desires, fulfilling our desires. So if this chakra is not functioning well, a person is unhealthy, is not happy. Like one has to smile, you know, forcibly by just seeing you smile. and But it, inner, uh, inner self is not smiling, is not in happy state. So, uh, if you are having problem attracting any job or fulfilling any uh, security to live your day-to-day -day life, like uh, your ration, your eatables, your living area, any, anything which you are not able to attract well, so you have to fill your this energy, red color. You can do it by many ways, but the first thing is your thought process. So just allow your uh, unhealthy state of mind to release from you. And just try to be happy. Feel happiness in you slowly and slowly as you guide yourself this chakra will start activating now when you come to the sacral chakra the navel one this is the basic chakra for creation name fame money but the negative aspect of it is ego. We pose to learn so much in life. We feel we are better than that. We feel rich. We feel snobbish. Uh, we, we have some ego. We feel good and bad. Low and high. Any Anything that goes in our selves. You know, there are so many um, structural beliefs that creates ego in you, like you are not open, you are not submissive. So if this state 
is lying over here dominant you will not grow in your creative field as a result name fame money will be blocked so the more open you become more down to earth malleable you know accepting and just living a life in thankful state this area this chakra will grow so this is of orange color you can also keep some orange flowers or stones or uh, cloth anything you feel like because every orange color radiates the same energy then you come to the solar plexus or the manipura chakra this is the stomach area you know all the major organs that gives life to you lie on this on this chakra the moment you lose energy you are in depressed state depression is nothing but losing of the energy from solar plexus so what we do we just heal this chakra and person very soon come out of depression because they are life giving organs over here and if they lose energy with your thought process with your fears with your anger with uh, your belief system which you don't uh, let go like old beliefs unwanted beliefs uh, it may be jealousness it may be hatred it may be pride all these you know unwanted energies attitude which you keep it on your stomach loses energy so what we have to do is to accept be friendly with the whole environment see god loves the whole universe and he keeps working every fraction of second for us for all beings unconditionally so why don't we learn all this from god when we just surrender ourselves when we love god we just believe in god in some power or force so why don't we realize that we have to accept this whole world at least at least our family people or people around us accept everyone so this is the path of security and if you are flexible and acceptable open up just accept the thoughts of others the presence of others and it's not that i am always true i have to hear others and if someone is saying right i must follow i must agree i must accept <coughs> sorry so if you can do this the acceptability and flexibility itself will increase the power on this solar plexus now it is bright yellow color just like the lemon so lemon color so you can have lemon color or stones uh, around you you can use the energies of the uh, the stones and uh, yellow eatables juices a uh, cloth flowers anything now come to the heart chakra heart chakra is the seat of love and peace now we are subjected to caste and creed low and high so many religions we divide ourselves in various unwanted forms we forget that we are only creation of this universe and every person 
is our brother and sister loved most. Whether we recognize or not, whether we see or not, whether we meet or not, but we belong to the same source. So the scientist, when they give the string theory, it is very true. We are all one somewhere. So why don't we open up our love and affection for the whole world? Just don't speak, just feel it. Just don't expect from others, just do it. Just feel it. Just love it, everyone. And you will feel the peace. You know, we have a Sanskrit mantra for it. Om Deo Hashanti, Anta Riksha Vanga Shanti. So we just accept the, the peace of this earth, this universe, this water, everything. We just feel the peace is coming from each and every element. And what happens then? We are in peace ultimately. Now, when we bother so much, when we fear for anything, when we just keep the emotions hard on our heart, what happens? Your love and peace, both are disturbed. We may have um, relationship problems. I do agree. But we have to move on. So we just give love to everyone. Whether we have good relations or we do not have good relations with anyone. But we have no other option except to bless, to love everyone. So if you can do this, automatically your heart chakra will energize. And now come to the throat chakra. You know, this is the seat of truth. Are we able to speak truth? Or we just glutton down something? We try to speak and we don't speak. Something blocks here. A blockage is created there. And then you are having all those sore th throat and all uh, throat blockage, everything like that. So first, the feelings they empower this energy. If it is negative, they block. And later on, they, they result as symptoms. So we only recognize it when the symptoms are occurring, when we are having a bad throat. But then we do not realize what was the cause of that bad, bad throat. So, if you rationally think about these energy fields, automatically your whole body will start increasing its energy because there is always a supply of energy from the universe. We are living in abundant universe. There's so much of energy, but we have to be open to these fields. Then now come to the third eye chakra. What does it mean? Why the third eye? We have the two eyes, which sees the physical aspect in life. We watch each other. We comment on each other. We make like uh, you are beautiful or not, uh, handsome or not, or so many different things. Uh, different ideas we have when we see any object but we cannot see beyond but when your third eye is activated you can see beyond so a third eye activation when we do the person automatically changes the perception intuitions learning process rationalism judgments that 
part increases. The person is able to judge right and we don't become judgmental. We just don't judge the thing with our physical eyes. We, we can't. We should not. So to enhance the energy on your third eye, you have to be in your own self, listen to your own uh, intuitions. The learning from the universe lands here. Many people believe that what is written in book is right. But somebody has created that book. In India, we believe in guru system in teaching. We say that guru is God himself. Why? Because he makes us aware of what God is like. So Guru Brahma Do Khade Kake Lagu Pai Baliari Guru Apne Govind Dio Batai means that if God himself come before me, first I will touch the feet of my Guru who enabled me to realize the energy of God. Because the teacher, the guru, has experienced all that. Say, I have experienced the energies. That is why I can scan. That is why I help people. And I help all my healers to grow this way. Even if you are sitting in different countries, I can scan. Because this is the power which we get from our gurus and we continue practicing ourselves increasing our own energy and helping people both in learning and healing so agya chakra means the third eye chakra is the eye which sees beyond and it develops so much at one point of time when you regularly practice the um, chakra healing that you sometimes uh, fail to see physical like everything is appearing here only in a non-physical world also you can have a peep into now come to the sahasra chakra when all these uh, chakras uplift you know they are energized they are vibrant they are highly energized naturally this sahasra means this is open to the whole universe whatever there in the universe is in you and this is sahasra chakra so i hope that uh, you must have enjoyed the session now there are basic mantras also the basic mantras there are many mantras you know Every chakra has one basic mantra, then few minor mantras also. Uh, letter wise, we have seven basic mantra. The mantra of root chakra is Lam. So when we chant in a particular way, we increase the energy of this um, area. So it has a set, you know, um, style to attract energy and then to uplift the energy uh, from root to the sahasra chakra means the crown chakra. So that is lum, then the vam is swadishtana means the sacral chakra, ram is the mantra of solar plexus and uh, yam is the mantra of heart chakra then hum is the mantra of the um, throat chakra then om is the om is the mantra of third eye chakra and then we just attract the natural sound 
on Sahasrar Chakra and we call it as Nada Swara. Nada Swara is the automatic, you know, uh, attraction of any sound of any uh, uh, letter that comes to any person. It's not the same for all. Those sounds are peculiar sounds and they come to different person in different ways. So this is called uh, Nadaswara. So even if we practice these mantras, we do increase the energies of our chakras. So today I think I will just end here. And if you uh, need uh, any help or any session, you can personally call me. Uh, I will let you know my phone number. And, uh, and if there is any other requirement also, then you please tell me. Thank you so much. Love and enjoy life. Bye-bye.